Hello, Tina Tubers. <laughs> At least I looked and saw that I had it on. Hold on, hold on. I am on my way to the dentist's office, which makes me very unhappy. Um, because I have to start a crown today, which means um, they have to, you know, what um, numb you, which it's not bad anymore because they have such a great procedure to do it, like they shake your cheek or whatever. Um, so it's not bad. It's just, I hate it. So I will bring you up to date on my little Hank. He is a dream boy. Um, he has a little stubborn streak. So, and he's very smart. He's smarter than me. So it's a challenge on how to train. But I don't know, I think I told you he already knows to sit. And I'm gonna try to show you guys this. I'm just, I'm just really spending most of my time with him, enjoying him, and just messing around the house, doing some diamond painting, you know, but basically just really trying to be with him. Watch when he's gonna go to the bathroom, make sure that I take him. He's really getting it, like he's so smart. And then I'll, after we play, I go, go get a drink of water. Manny darts right into the kitchen, knows where the water is. So he is a water drinker. He's got water in his cage, in his big run cage. He's got water in there and he's got um, water in the kitchen and water in the bathroom where his pee pads are. So he's, he's covered with water, but he loves the water, which is so good. I wish I did. And so, um, what else? And he's got his sit and his down and you know, he doesn't like down. Okay, he'll do it finally, but he won't do it immediately. Not like his sit and not like give me his paw, not like over, he jumps over my leg when I say over. And he, wait, and he knows to wait and then say okay and go get it. Uh, he knows, but when I say down, he, he does it in his own good time. And I think that's because he has to be submissive. <laughs> I love it. And so, and if I say come, he doesn't come. So, I don't know if he, I try not to put him in, a, in his cage or crate as soon as, you know, he comes to me. I try to hold him, walk around with him, play. I try to do that kind of stuff so that he doesn't associate that. But I still think he does. Anyway. We are also working on um, his separation anxiety. So um, I just try to walk out of the room when he's in his cage and go in and take a shower. In the beginning, I did not. I had him right there. So it all takes time. I wanted him to get used to this house and me and all that. So now, like, he'll cry when I'm out of the room. So I'll wait till he's calmed down and quiet and then I go take him a treat and tell him good boy like trying to reinforce good behavior and so I do that a few times so yesterday and I can't watch him on the camera um, because then I get too upset because he will howl and walk back and forth but I think yesterday when I looked at him when I was coming home he was laying down in his cage so that made me happy so there's time of at least there's been time of rest. So I left him with his little activity food thing and uh, hopefully he'll do that. And I put his puppy in there with the heartbeat and a t-shirt of mine. I'll try that. Somebody said try that. So anyways, it's it's just been so much fun. And I, told, I don't know if I mentioned to you how I took him to the groomer and now when I go to even brush him, he snaps and snarls. And I was just, just, I was just so upset about that. I thought, how do I just do this? So I just thought I will feed him and wait till he's a little tired to uh, start using the brush. So I did that last night and it really worked. He let me brush him. Then to put him on his back, I put this, uh, what are they called? Those rugs that are real fluffy 
cowhide. I don't know what they are. They're not cowhide. They're something. Sheepskin. Anyway, he loves, and so he laid on his back, and I just hugged him and rubbed him, and I didn't tr tr attempt the brush yet. I'm going to do this a few times uh, so that, you know, he can get used to that. Anyway, it, it's just a struggle. <laughs> Because that was really sad to me that he was so good about me brushing him until I took him to the groomers. And I, I'm sure she didn't hurt him, hurt him, but I think the whole thing just traumatized him. Even though she took her time with him, I just think he's got a little bit of an attitude. And, you know, he's going to be the one to tell you how it's going to go down. So we'll see. And so, again, I'm just trying to reinforce positive. So we laid on the floor. We played and he chewed his bone right next to me. It's just, it was just so, so precious. Um, I'm just really enjoying this time and it's gonna go fast and then he's gonna be a big boy. And oh, uh, so it's sweet to watch how he, how smart he is. And uh, yeah, so I, like I said, I, that's why I haven't been doing videos because I have to pay attention to him. And, um, and he sleeps, like he sleeps now in his stroller next to my bed. He's not in his crate, so I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. Um, at night, if I put him on the bed, he gets too rambunctious and crazy, and then he starts coming at me, like, trying to bite me. Not bite me to be mean. It's his chewing stuff. So, and they said when they get really overstimulated, then put him in a crate. So I put him in his, in his stroller, and he was fine. So, yeah, so it's, it's just been really fun. I'm so much more in tune this time than I was last time with Jasper. A, I'm alone. I'm not married. I don't have other responsibilities. And uh, B, my house is much smaller and I can contain him better. And C, uh, I got him when he was really little, eight weeks. That's a big deal. So, um, it's just been joy. Just like Letty said, it's the best thing you could do for yourself. Couldn't be happier with my decision. Thank you, God, for sending me this, this sweet fur baby. How are all of you? Let me tell you. One thing I do do while I'm next to him and he's in the cage is I go down the rabbit hole YouTube, right? And Letty said something the other day in her thing like, why does it seem like all of these people that I love, bad things are happening to them? Like... Russell Brand, I think it's Russell Brand, and I am, uh, I was a big advocate of Tim Ballard, the Mormon that did um, The Sound of Freedom, where he, he was, used to be a FBI and Homeland Security, and he's over there in these different countries saving these children, and he's a Mormon, so there's a lot of stuff that's come out about him, they excommunicated him, um, they said he was using one of the bishops, one of the high priest's name, um, and said that he was really close to him, and he wasn't, and he did that for money. Now they're saying there's another sexual uh, allegation against him. It just makes me sick. Just, Letty, I get it. You know, when somebody you really believe in, and then the Mormon YouTubers that I started watching in 2015, um, it's national news that Ruby... Uh, Ruby Frankie and that Jody Hildebrand um, are in jail and have been in jail since August 30th for torturing her two youngest children. It, horrendous, horrendous stuff. They're, they're nuts. They're totally nuts. And I just hope that they never let her out. But she's pretty scheming, has lots of connections with the state attorney's office. Um, so I'm just going to pray that justice will be done for these sweet children that they have really effed up. Sorry, but they have really effed them up. Ruby did, and then much worse after she got into uh, connections with Jody Hildebrand. Mormons, what is going on with the Mormons? Are they, they're so repressed that they're, and then you find out about the sisters that I watched as well. Her whole family is bitty um, vloggers, then you find out that the sisters are, there's incestual stuff going on. Some of the guys go both ways. Some of the girls go both ways. It's, it's bizarre. It's like, you don't want to know that. So it 
just goes to show you that I could be a real freak off camera, okay? I'm not, honest to God, I'm not, guys. But it's just like, it's just so disheartening. It's just so disheartening. So anyway, I'm gonna pull into Dunkin' Donuts if I haven't passed it already. And uh, get me a, a bagel. A bagel, because I have time. I have time, and can you tell when I said bagel, that means I'm not on my diet. Here he is at his first day of training. He was great. He met Baker, which is a Cocker Spaniel. Really had a good time. And here he is with his vet, Dr. Chris. Okay, are you gonna sit? Okay, wait for mommy. <laughs> okay, let's wait for mommy and show everybody. Can you sit nice and okay? Give me your paw, sit. Get up here. Can you sit? Show them how you, come on. Okay, focus. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Good focus. Good focus. And it takes them a while to eat, right? Because you're so little. Let's see how long it takes them to eat this little crumb. Oh my goodness. Ready? Okay, sit up. You ready? Are we lazy today? Are we lazy today? Oh, what a good boy. Sit. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Yes! Come on, you look like you're crippled. All right, maybe we should not have the mat. How's that? Let's do this. Okay, come here. Okay, sit. Uh-uh, sit. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Come on. Dementia? What's going on? Give me your paw. Okay, touch. Oh, what a good touch. Now, you want to lay on that? Okay. <laughs> this is the sheepskin I was talking about. Okay, ready? Wait, this is taking a long time, isn't it? Can you sit? Sit up. Can I have your paw? Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Okay, we're not doing that today. Down. Good down. You're very, are you a little tired today? Huh? Are you a little tired? Let's see if this will wake you up a little bit, okay? Okay, ready? Sit. Oh, he's not done yet. Sorry, guys. Okay, up. Good boy. Over. Over. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. He's still tired. You don't want to do it? You don't want to do it? Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Sit. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Focus. No, it's not happening. He's tired still. Can we see if you can do this? Oh! <gasps> Show him how I can love on you. Yes. See the baby. See the baby. And he won't let me brush it yet. No, so we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. And he's all knotted. And what am I gonna do? Cause he needs a bath. Gotta get you brushed, boo boo. Gotta get you brushed, yeah. Gotta get you brushed. Tell him I don't like being brushed, Mom. Can you tell him? Can you tell him? Say, I don't like being. Can you look in there? Oh, yes. Good boy. 
All right, ready? Hippity hoppity Hank cried all the way to the bank. The teller said your mommy's dead. There's no more loot to toot. No, there's no more loot. No more loot, but you are worth it. Mwah! Tell them bye. I'm going to close the video for today. Remember, be good to yourself, be good to others, and God will bless your efforts. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.